Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. This is Ace and Friends. Fun, funny, and fast. Welcome to another edition of Ace and Friends. Starting a brand new week. It's tax day. We all got worries. The Golden Bachelor can't keep it together. What am I supposed to do? Saw that. That's kind of sad. Is it? Yeah. No, it's not. It's I sadder mean, than the regular Bachelor and, and is. Oh, I don't think so. Up. Well, well first, I do. welcome to another edition of Ace and Friends. I'm the modern day Mr. Rogers. My name is Ace. Riggins, take D. Robber here. Why is it sadder? If you missed it, the Golden Bachelor and this lady, they split up after three months. Because, uh, sources say, because she has decided that she doesn't want to leave her life in New Jersey. Ew. So what makes it so much worse that the Golden Bachelor can't keep it together as far than a regular couple? Because it had a more wholesome quality to it than the regular Bachelor did. He's an older guy. His daughters wanted him to do it. And he seemed like a genuinely wholesome, kind man. And she seemed like a nice woman. Okay. And, and you want to see them in their later years, uh, you know, find love. I think that's natural. The Bachelor has sort of an element of kind of trashiness to it that this didn't have to I me. Can, okay, I could agree with that part of it. But what I can't agree with is your two people, what are they, in their 60s? Yeah. And they can't, they don't have a conversation before this. Right about what they're going to do with their future. They just jump into this thing. They're both old enough to know, hey, we need to sit down and before we do anything, let's discuss some logistics. Let's talk about what our life is going to be like. And she clearly, based upon what I had seen, the, the understanding is she was moving there to be with him. Mm -hmm. And now she decides afterwards, I don't want to do that. If that's true, I don't know if that's even true or not. Yeah, but if, yeah. if that's even true, and I bet there's a lot of pressure from producers and being like, "Hey, we're still going to go with the wedding, right? Like we've already got, we're going to send you on vacation." And you kind of get swept up into the whole craze of doing the TV show yeah. and the interviews, and you're like, "Yeah, I love this guy." And then all of a sudden, you wake up one morning, you're like, "Oh, it's real." And they were like, married. "We're actually married." Three months. Yeah. Do they even have to divorce? Like they can get that annulled, can't they? I think three months is is. I think it's like a like a month probably for annulment, right? I don't know. I don't know anything about annulment. Also, Riggins, I thought when you you, th you said it was sad, I thought it was because they didn't have much life left to live. So. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be dark. Yes. That'd be a pretty dark yeah. thing to so, say. <laughs> but, but, you know, is there any hope for the rest of us if the Golden Bachelor can't yeah. make it you know, more than three months? I don't know. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. We got a lot of good stuff happening today. We got some great audio for you, including uh, the value of friendship, according to Gen Z, um, coming up. And... A little clip from the Masters, if you missed it, that uh, uh, luckily the announcer caught himself because he almost made a tragic mistake. But next, something that's not so wholesome that old people are doing. It's not pretty. It's from our DM we got from Facebook after a conversation we had Friday. We'll get to it next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Ace and Friends. So Friday on the show, we got into a conversation about um, unsolicited picks. Let's call them D-picks. 
that um, is that the best way to say that? Riggins? <laughs> you made a face. I didn't know how to. <laughs> I thought you were going to put it more lightly than that. Honestly, personally, <laughs> I did too. Adult. Is there a? I mean, that's a pretty light way to put. I, mean, I don't know how else to put it. Junk it's, picks is that maybe? I don't know. Okay, you think? Okay, maybe that. You think? I don't know. I don't what's know. better? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, what's better? I think explicit <laughs> pictures. Yeah. yeah, that's that's not bad. Okay, I didn't know how. I was trying to find the best possible way to phrase that. So I didn't. So what about junk pick? Okay. <laughs> so apparently, Sorry. I picked the wrong way to what I thought would be better. Yeah. But and we made it a clip, and we got a lot of comments on this. Uh, a lot of people commented on this. But a lady who said, "Keep me anonymous," she said, "Unsolicited pick." She DM'd us on our Facebook page. Senior citizen version. Names have been changed, so I can use these names because she's changed all the names. My mother-in-law's friend Beth. I'm sorry. My mother-in-law's friend Beth's live-in boyfriend Rex sent a pic to another one of their friends, Gina. Gina was like, OMG, what the hell? Gina sent the pic to my mother-in-law to show her what Rex had done. They did not tell Beth eventually, but my mother-in-law told her because she thought Rex was a perv and was being mean to Beth. Anyway, of course, Beth did not believe it at first until she saw the pic and she knew the pic was taken on her bed. The sheets were a dead giveaway. Oh, my God. Uh, Beth thought Gina had been flirting with him for him to have sent Gina a pic. But she, Gina said, ooh, no. Well, the pic kept popping up on my mother-in-law's cell phone, and she could not get it to stop. Instead of asking me to get rid of it, she took her phone to AT&T and asked them to get rid of it. Whoa. What? <laughs> she said, hilarious. By the way, all of these people are in their late 70s. Uh. She goes, OMG. Ooh. Ugh. What do you mean the picture kept popping up on my mother-in-law's phone? Yeah, what does that mean? Like somebody was sending it to just, her over and over? They just don't pop up. But I mean, once you have a picture in your in your phone, it doesn't just pop up randomly. I have found that with people who aren't good with technology, somehow something like this can happen. You said maybe because she's 75? Yeah, because it, it, it tends to like, like my mom or my dad would come up to me and go, what's wrong with my phone? I'm like, I don't know how you got it to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she probably accidentally set it as her wallpaper or something. She's like, <laughs> every time I open my phone, I'm seeing. But can you imagine? Your dad's not even 70 yet, Rick. Was he late 60s? Yeah. Can you imagine your dad run, uh, sending pics of himself to women in the to, community where they live? No. No. Or to his mother-in-law or whatever it's that is. It's a 78-year-old man. Yeah. But he was so, married. He was trying to send it to a spouse, I'm assuming. No, trying to send it to another, another woman. But was he, though? Yeah, maybe that was another. Old I think that maybe it was an accident. I think it was probably an accident. We're giving that and guy he, the benefit of the doubt here. Of course. Okay. I I I would I would like to give the older people the benefit. Of the doubt. <laughs> yeah, you're clearly not. I don't know why. I just assumed he wasn't based upon the way she told the story. I assumed he was trying to send it to this other woman. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. That's what, I don't want to think that. Ace knows he's like looking in a mirror. He's like, yeah, I'd send you know, old pervy old I man. Think, oh, I think y'all are just. I mean, you're, you want it to be true that it was an accident. Yeah. No, because you know what you would do. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> More Ace and, Ace and Friends coming up. coming up. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Ace and Friends. Oh, the Masters is over. Scott, how do you pronounce his last name? Scheffler. Scheffler. Um, is the Masters champion. 
a moving tribute to Vern Lundquist at the end? Yeah. Vern Lundquist, the, he's got to be an 80-year-old announcer. Just, yeah, a, least, just yeah. a wonderful voice. Just as good as there's ever been at announcing football, college football and golf. He's just spectacular at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is not any of those things. Uh, the par three happened on, on Wednesday. There's a fun tournament that they do on Wednesday. and they, People come out with their friends and their family, and they let their kids putt. And some guys let their, their girlfriends or wives uh, let their caddy hit tee shots for them. Jack Nicholas's grandson hits that hole in hole one years yeah. ago. It's one of the most amazing moments ever. Yeah. I saw the flip side of that the other day. Is it Tony Finau? F-I-N-A-U. Finau? Yeah, yeah uh, Finau. Finau. Let his caddy hit for him, which I believe was a, like his brother or cousin or whatever was caddying for him. And the guy put it in the water. <laughs> and he just stared at him afterwards like, God dang. Just, he was so, like, so disappointed. Like, Come on, man. I yeah. gave you a shot. And that's what you did with it? So imagine this. Um, from the Masters tournament, watch, listen as this announcer catches himself from what he says because he's talking about a player's, it's his girlfriend, right? And his sister. His sister. Little sister. So his little sister is his caddy for the day for this par three. And it's, there's nothing to it. They're just having a good time. And listen to this announcer. Oh, no. Sister Sarah Scheffler. Little fat, the shot. She's. Obviously very fit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. Yeah, he meant she hit the ground and got a lot of the ground. Like, hit it a little fat is what that means. A little but fat. Like, little fat. The shot. She's obviously very thin. I love it. <laughs> and it took him just a quick second. Uh, he caught blink it. Blink of an eye. It came, it came right back at it. That's wild. Yeah. And it's... Because she is clearly, uh, she is very thin. She's yeah. not big at all. But, wait, but listen to his timing is impeccable uh, on, on this. Sister Sarah Scheffler, little fat, the shot. She's obviously very fit. <laughs> Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. The good news today is proof that you can put your troubles behind you, put your arguments aside, and make your life and other people's lives better. It is truly an inspirational story. Coming up next, Ace and Friends. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 so uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now listen to that. You call in. They set it up. Your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. There's a lot of news out there, but Ace and Friends just want to give you the good news. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite segments of Ace and Friends because it's just, it's, it is what it is. It's always good. There are two pool players. One's name is Russ Redhead. I'm assuming that's not his real name. Russ Redhead and a guy named James Harris Jr. Well, a decade ago, they were big rivals. They actually had beef with each other. They didn't like each other. They didn't get along. But over the course of time, they made up and became friends. And now they're even a little bit closer because uh, Russ Redhead just gave James Harris Jr. a kidney. Wow. James had been on dialysis for three years, but now two months after surgery, he is doing great. And James's wife, when interviewed for, for the television, could barely hold back tears talking about what a huge gesture it was. That's amazing. Yeah. How far did those two guys come? They didn't like each other at all. They had beef 10 years ago. Over the course of time, they work it out. And now he's like, yeah, I'll give you a kidney. That's great. I wonder what took so long to figure out that he was a match. Yeah. 
Because he was yeah. on dialysis for three years. Yeah. I wonder if uh, did, did did Russ Redhead just n- never go get checked? Yeah, and, and must not have when they checked him and found like, oh my god, you're a match. Yeah, and you can hold that over somebody forever. Right. That's why he did it for sure. Yeah. You think? Yeah, like sure. my friend Eddie uh, turned out that his girlfriend Vicky is yeah. was his match, and she donated her kidney to give to him. Um. And he was like, "Yeah, we can, we can. I can never break up with her now." Exactly. <laughs> he said You're she could leave me, but I can, I can never break up with her after saving his life and giving him a kidney. No chance. Didn't George Lopez's wife give him a kidney and then he left her? Yeah, something. Yeah, like there that. was was somebody like that. Was it George Lopez? Yeah, it was so. George Lopez. I'm pretty mm. sure. Yeah. Uh, and then this, the world's oldest gorilla, just celebrated another birthday. Uh, Fatu. Uh, she was born in 1957 and lives at the Berlin Zoo. She just celebrated her 67th birthday. On Friday. Yeah, a gorilla just turned 67 years old. That's amazing. Yeah. It's not as good as the first story. I don't know why I didn't, you know, <laughs> should have led with the stupid gorilla story. That just make something up. up. The, Say the, the gorilla really needed news. a kidney, too. <laughs> and, yeah, and is barely surviving. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's something that, there's a video that's gone viral that shows the value of friendship to Gen Z. But there's something about it that I find really interesting that most people are flabbergasted by if they're Gen Z. Next. Ace and Friends. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate. And years of research. We've decided great furniture. Is good fitting? And good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just two seventy nine. In stock and ready to rock, only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. This is Ace and Friends. Fun, funny, and fast. It's Ace and Friends, April 15th. Got to get your taxes done today if you haven't done it already. My son's coming over this afternoon to do his. He was supposed Ooh. to be there Friday. I didn't hear from him. It's, it's one W-2. Just I, You know, you go online, it takes, what, five minutes? Yeah. Plug in the numbers and see you later. Uh, but Reagan's found this audio. And do you find this surprising this Gen Z audio about the value of friendship. My, I was surprised by the reaction to the video. Okay. Well, let's I play. didn't think they would have enjoyed this as much as they do. So let's play the video first. This girl is sitting in a bedroom, alone in a bedroom, on a bed, talking to her phone. Here we go. You know, you're best friends when you just show up unannounced, literally all the time. I don't ever tell her when I'm coming over. Showed up. Her dad was like, she's not even here. He hugged me. We talked a little bit. Came and hung out with her sister a little bit. Um, she left to go hang out with her boyfriend. So now I'm just, just chilling. So what is it about that that surprises you? Because really? everybody in the comments was like, oh my gosh, I need a friend like that. And we're led to believe that Gen Z and millennials don't enjoy human contact with others. That's sort of the message. But everybody in the comments was like, oh my gosh, I wish I had a friend like that. And I love that, <clears throat> that they're like, I want a friend that I'm comfortable with enough like that. What I found most interesting about that was that's the way most friendships yeah. used to be. Absolutely. They were all that way. You show you just, up at somebody's yeah. house and it, you're like part of the family. It's not a big deal. You go over. Oh, they're not there. They'll be back in 30 minutes. Just wait here. You, you know, don't have to knock on the yeah. door. I mean, yeah, everybody had that experience. But now we're led to believe like everybody's just <clears throat> involved with their phone. They don't want to go out. And it's like, no, it was refreshing to see that everybody was like, I need a friend like that. Rob's like, why you want to bring me into it? No, no, I, I, I have a friend that, <laughs> that, I have a lot of friends that are like that. Like, I, I will go to my friend's house and not knock on the door, and I'd love to spend time with that person. It's just, you would. Just everybody else, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting, though. That's the thing that I took away from that is that the, that's seen as such a weird thing now when that's the way it is. everything used to be. Sure. That was how everybody's, when you, were, when you were friends with someone. I had several friends like that growing up. These guys I get together with every summer. You go to somebody's house and just, they'll be back in like an hour. You just hang out if you want. Okay. Yeah, she was in her friend's room, like laying yeah. on her bed. And yeah, it was, it was, it was refreshing <laughs> to see that was, people were wanting that. Yeah. I think that older generations might have more people that they're like that with, whereas now it's significantly fewer people. That's probably true. Yeah. 
I, I think it's a better place. The world's a better place when you have more friends like that, though, mm -hmm. obviously, when you're close with more people like that. Sure. But there is something I need members of the Ace and TJ Radio family to work on for me. You've got to get better at something. I need you to get better at this for my own mental health. Next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. This is Ace and Friends. Hey, don't forget to follow along with our social media at Ace Cannon Media. Well, I tell you this thing that I need you to do for me to make my life a little bit better. My wife and I went to a wedding Saturday. And while we were at the wedding <clears throat> hanging around, my wife likes to take pictures. And she looked, I could use any number of terms, stunning, gorgeous, smoking hot. Her dress was great. Her hair was great. Her makeup was great. Everything about it was just straight fire and I had on a suit which I rarely wear I had to wear a tie <laughs> and yep. we got a picture and she posted this picture and I was looking at the comments and this is where uh, I need you to do something for me you've got to get better with your age gap jokes if we're still going to make the age gap jokes now seven years into this relationship of mine we got to get better with them well, only one person made an age gap joke. Most, the, everybody was very nice. It was like 30 comments when I saw it, and like 29 of the comments were offering, oh, good looking couple, blah, blah, blah. That's great. And I know by that they mean her. But <laughs> this guy was like, oh, father daughter dance. I was like, oh, seen you, it. You, you, yeah, been done. You got to get better at that. Seen it, and it's also not that funny. Yeah, it really isn't. Yeah, you've, you've got to just get better with those. Yeah. I don't mind them. I actually like them. They make me laugh. If they're funny. If they're funny. Yeah. But you, but you got you to you bring a little bit more than that. Yeah. Is it mostly guys that do that? It's always guys it's always that do guys, that. Yeah. It's always a guy trying to be funny. Yeah. yeah. Every time. I, I think almost every time. Now, when women have made jokes, their jokes are pretty witty. They're good. Yeah. Because they come at it with a different perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, well, it is proof that most people... Me included, probably. Not as funny as you think you are. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. You just don't take into account they've probably seen that before. I said, mm -hmm. man, come on. You can do you can do better than that. Yeah. 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 Get better. Get better. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's tough, though. I, and I saw the picture, and she looks stunning in the photo. And I just look like me. And it reminds me, whew, man, I'm getting old. And she's just now hitting her prime. Mm -hmm. Like women get, the women are at their best in their 30s. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think the 30s are better than the 20s. And the 40s get better than that. I think women get better as they age. But I was like, man, I've got to do something. Some, some money, get on some steroids or something. <laughs> steroids. Like you think turning yep. into the Hulk is going to make you look better? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, whatever, I'll do whatever. Whatever it takes. <laughs> More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that 
cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense. It makes life much easier. Go to homewithrichard.com to start the process. A lot of options with Richard Ducato. Don't miss this opportunity. Homewithrichard.com. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you. A proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details. This is Ace and Friends. Answer this question to yourself. Would you ever do acupuncture? This is the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. If you're on the fence, this is not going to help your story at all. First off, it's in Iowa. And I don't know, something about acupuncture in Iowa just seems odd to me. But hey, maybe if you live in Iowa, acupuncture in North Carolina could seem odd to you. I don't know. But... This is the type of thing that I would do because I'm forgetful. I get busy doing different things, too many different things, too scattered. Um, a healthcare provider in Iowa who specializes in acupuncture is in a lot of trouble because the healthcare provider inserted all of the needles and then it apparently takes a while. Like you put the needles in for the acupuncture, and then the person lays there for, say, an hour with the needles in. So, the healthcare provider decided he needed to run back home for a bit. And he ran to his house. Ran and then woke up and in the process completely forgot about the person with all the needles stuck in their body doing the acupuncture. Mm -hmm. So the patient waited about two hours after the session was supposed to end. So say the session started at noon and was over at one. The patient waited until three, let's say, God. then pulled the needles out themselves and called the police. It doesn't say if the patient was a male or a female. So they had to pull the, pull the needles out on their own and call the cops. Um, there are no actual charges that the healthcare worker is going to face because he didn't actually break any law. Now, could lose his medical license. The state Medi board of medicine has already fined him five hundred dollars, and his license is now up uh, to be reviewed. Reviewed. The wow. patient was not hurt, and even the patient's parents said, "I'm not hurt. I was just really confused as to yeah, what yeah, was yeah. going on." After three hour, two hours. I'd be nervous to pull those needles out because I don't know enough about it. I'd be like, can I just yank these out? And I want to know where were they? Shoulder, like in your neck or shoulders? You just reach around and have to feel for <laughs> them? Because my fear would be in feeling for them, I would hit something and push one too deep or God. something like that. Yikes. Yeah. I just forgot. What? It's the middle of the day. How do you forget? It's 1 o'clock. You're like, I'm done for the day. You're a doctor. Yeah. What doctor do you know? It's like... All right, I guess I'm done for the Went home, fell asleep, woke up, and never thought, <gasps> I got to go back to the office. <laughs> what the hell is that? There's somebody laying on a table with needles sticking out of their body. God. But that is the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. Ace and Friends. So you, all your taxes done, been done, Riggins? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You were an early tax person? Not super early, yeah. but a couple weeks before. You, Rob, all done? Uh, yeah, I do mine as soon as I get all the papers. Yeah, 
that's so I need to, I've got to start doing that. Good for you. Now that it's been left up to me every year, I'm late at the last minute, that kind of thing. Um, but I saw some kind of some interesting facts. Just because it's you know National Tax Day. Uh, da, 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 da. The Supreme Court once ruled that collecting federal taxes every year was unconstitutional. Fact or fiction? Fact. That's a fiction. That is a fact. President Grover Cleveland tried to implement a yearly tax in 1894, and the Supreme Court struck it down to no. Uh, if you win a prize on The Price is Right, you have to pay California state in- state income taxes on it before you can leave the studio. I think that's true. I think I've heard that. That is fact. I did not realize that you had to pay it, though, before you could leave the studio. Which is so wild. I knew, they, they, I knew you had to pay California income tax on it. But I didn't realize it's like you can't leave until you pay. <laughs> yeah, because I think most people think, oh, okay, I'll sell the one I get from here, and then I'll be able to pay for it. But what you if know? you don't? What if you don't have the money? Like, what if yeah, what if you what want a do? car and they say that you know it's going to be four thousand dollars in tax, just three thousand dollars in tax? Like, I don't have three thousand dollars to pay you right now. I don't have my checkbook. Um, yeah, and they can't take the cash value. Like I thought, I, I thought I've heard that they could, but no, the, they will not. The term "paying through the nose." comes from a 9th century Danish pra- Danish practice of slitting people's noses if they didn't pay their taxes. Fact oh or fiction? God. I hope that's fiction. It's probably a fact. That is a fact. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That's scary. Paying through the nose. A 9th century Danish practice of slitting people's noses if they didn't pay their taxes. That's wild. Uh, fact or fiction? The main reason Will Smith did the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was that he owed $2.8 million in back taxes and needed the money. It sounds like a fact yeah, it sounds, for some reason. That is a fact. I've heard him talk about that. Yeah. When he made all the money off uh, Parents Just Don't Understand, his first yeah. album, and it went platinum, he made a boatload of money and didn't account for any of the taxes, spent it all. Um, 70% of his paycheck for the first three years of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was garnished by the IRS. Robbery. Yeah, he didn't just make payments. They garnished his income. And finally, you still have to pay taxes on ransom payments. Fact or fiction? Ooh. Uh, oh, true. Fact. Yeah. Fiction. Ransom payments are tax deductible. You just have to show something like a police report as proof of your loss. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's yeah. fine. You don't have to pay taxes. You do not have to pay taxes uh, yeah, that's, on that. That's good to know. Uh, we found a lady who doesn't really understand what a privacy fence is or how they work. Um, one of the most annoying neighbors ever. Next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show, yeah, me, about yeah, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so, the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them in all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know there there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. This is Ace and Friends. I didn't have a privacy fence at my house growing up. Did y'all? Did you, Riggins? Uh, around our pool, we did. Okay. Did you, Rob? Not growing up, but I have one now. Oh, yeah, you do have one now, don't yep. you? Um, I've never had a privacy fence. I've, I've had a fence around my yard, but you could see, you know, through it and all that kind of stuff. It didn't, you didn't hide anything. But there's a lady here who just clearly does not understand how um, privacy fences are supposed to go. Now imagine she's standing in her backyard talking to uh, her other neighbor. Hey there. Hey. I thought maybe you're a pudding in your patio. No. Are you gonna do that too? I'm not sure yet.
What do you mean? Could this lady be any more bored talking to her? Oh. No, it's okay. privacy, right? That's all. Okay, that's all. Yeah. In other words, I used, she liked it when it was open and you could see what everybody was doing and talk to your neighbors. Yeah. I used now, to be able to be nosy. Now everybody wants privacy. Yeah. I kind of see, I, she has a point. She liked it better. It was more communal, more community. People mm. could spend time together more. But with a neighbor like that, I understand why she put up the privacy fence. It's like, yeah, you're a pain in the ass. If, right. you, if you love, if you love yeah. your neighbors or if you love, you know, this woman seems super annoying. Very into what is everybody else doing yeah. today? Are you putting your patio up right now? No, I'm just no. hanging out with the dogs I'm in the backyard. I'm here throwing a frisbee with my dogs. Why? What do you care? Yeah, I used to be able to see. Okay, yeah, now I'm putting it up. Now it's going higher. How about that? I'm going to put a double privacy fence. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, so now everybody, I guess, has put it in a privacy fence, and she's not thrilled by the whole thing. Yeah, because like, oh, she used to be able to see far. Because when we first moved her, I could see everybody. Yeah. And then everybody found out how annoying you were and put up privacy <laughs> fences. Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at Sweet Dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The Sweet Deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Ace and Friends. Here's a question I found on social media that may be more difficult than you think. Someone offers you a million dollars to do a karaoke version of a song. You're in a bar. Somebody says, here, a million dollars. But you have to get every single word of this song exactly correct. What's the song? You can pick the song. But you can't, you got to know every word of that song. What is it? Because you may think you know the words of a, a ton of songs, but when you, but when faced with a scenario of, oh, I got to know every single word, what would it be? Happy the, birthday. That's <laughs> bad. The cheating, the cheating song is tequila. Yeah. Tequila. It's only one word. That, would, that yeah. wouldn't count. Um, yeah. That's tough. I don't know. Even my favorite song, I'd probably mess up, you know, the words. At least one. Yeah. All or nothing. A million dollars. One song. Sure. You've got to get every word right. What is this? What just what is the song that you choose? Come Monday, Jimmy Buffett. Really? I think I could prob I probably listen to that song more than any other song. So I think that would probably be my best shot. Is it is it I would think probably helpful that it's a little slower? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a few more milliseconds to process what's coming up as opposed mm -hmm. to something that's more up tempo. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I didn't. I never thought of the go with a slower song thing until right now. Mm -hmm. Rob, what's yours? Can you I, come up with one? I, I don't think I could because I'm awful with remembering lyrics. All the karaoke you've done, you're yeah. terrible at lyrics. That's why I have to do the karaoke because the lyrics are in front of me. Oh, that's right. I forget to put them on the machine. Mm. Yeah. Which I mean, if if that's the case, I'm I'm assuming this is where you don't get to see the lyrics. Yeah. But like, if that was the case, I would do whatever. But I, without the lyrics, I'm I'm lost. Wow. Yeah, I, I have a terrible memory of lyrics. So you can't even come up with one. Yeah. Do you remember we, we, we did something with one of our old stations where I sang a Ed Sheeran song for in the lull time during a con, a contest, and I I bombed it. What about the song you auditioned with on Nashville Star? Uh, maybe it it'd be pretty close for that one because it's it's just a song I've known my whole life. It was the 
Great Day to Be Alive by, by Travis, Travis Tritt. Tritt. Yeah. yeah. So that one, I mean, maybe, but. I got a rice cooking in the microwave. Mm -hmm. I know a good mm -hmm. bit of the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Least. And then you black out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's one of my favorite stories ever. Rob auditioned for a television show and literally, for lack of a better term, blacked out. He made it through the audition, but he has no recollection of it whatsoever. I remember being on the stage and then I remember being off of it. And your, was it your sister or your mom? My, my, mom, my niece and my mom were. Yeah, there. they said something. That's the, the next thing you remember. Mm -hmm. Do you remember hearing your name be called? I think we were in order. Like, uh, uh, like it was a line going yeah. to the stage. So I was like, I was like, they're, they're, I think they gave me a number or something. And you walked right up. Mm -hmm. And do you remember walking up on the stage? I remember walking up and seeing the judges. And then uh, that nothing was else until <laughs> your niece's Gone. voice. Luke Gone. Combs says the same thing when he performs. He right. just blacks out. Blacks out. <laughs> More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato. I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us, and um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are are reaching out and saying, hey. Show me about that refi. Let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me, yeah, about, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is what is Ace has said. We have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. Ace and friends. He's a 10, but I like those that whole series of videos that are out where they, they point out, hey, the guy's a 10. He looks great, but this is his problem. Um, there's a pretty good TikTok that's gone viral uh, from a guy, and it's all about, uh, you know, he's a 10, but what about this laugh? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> what? He had said Sar Sarboa, but it's Sarbini. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he just does these different laughs. He's getting people's reaction as he walks by. Girls look like, what? Yeah. Is yeah. <laughs> and every time they look at each other, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a handsome guy. Yeah, he's a really good looking guy. But here's the difference I thought when watching this. Um, no guy is going to care about that. If you revert, turn no. the tables. If she's got a goofy laugh. If she's attractive, that might be, oh, she's got this goofy little laugh that like he even snort. finds even more endearing. Yeah, if she snorts when she laughs, you see that sometimes. Yeah, but some guy's going to go, oh, and she's got this weird little, it's funny, but it's a goofy little laugh. Yeah, but a woman but does not want him to laugh ever around her friends. Ever. He's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but here's another one. <laughs> what? Rising. And every time people look like, what is going on with that yep. guy? What's his. Guys don't care. <laughs> yeah, that would be a total turnoff to a woman, but a guy would be like, it's okay. Yeah. I don't care. Just like um, girl with a raggedy car, guy didn't care. Guy with a raggedy car, a lot of times women care. Mm hmm. Yeah, that list of icks or whatever that women put together. You know, they're now up to like 600 things yeah. that guys do wrong that gross them out or freak them out. So it's like, guys aren't doing that. He doesn't stand up right getting out. Of, he doesn't get out of the chair right. Or he doesn't, you know. Yeah. He uses a turn signal. <laughs> you know, it's like that petty. It's yeah. like, okay. Like, all what right. are you, what, really? All right. Have fun being alone forever. But that <laughs> that laugh is pretty embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> So one of the big arguments in the country today that everybody talks about is tipping culture, getting out of control. Uh, something happened at an airport, and the question has become, was it a tip or was it extortion? Wait until you hear who was looking for a tip. Next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. 
You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Ace and Friends. Okay, people are obsessed with tipping culture and how tipping has gotten out of control. And a lot of people are asking for a tip now before they've even given you the service. But here is a story that made it online from an airline passenger who says um, they were at a United ticketing counter at the Newark, New Jersey airport last week. And the agent said their checked bag was a half pound too heavy. And I believe that's 50 pounds is the weight limit. Half pound too heavy. The agent said, "Ah, don't worry, I don't see anything. Then gave him a high five. The customer thought, oh, we're getting a nice break. Then the agent said, quote, you can leave a tip right there. Mm. Pointed to the spot on the counter customer asked if the agent was for real the guy said yes so the customer left five dollars now the customer said really didn't care at first like okay we got something out of that that was good but then they started thinking and like i'm pretty sure that bag is not mm-hmm. over so when they got the bag back then they don't know what happened but they weighed it and it was 44 pounds Ooh. Yeah. which would give them six pounds leeway Now, if you've ever been to the airport, I know at the airport in Charlotte, on the side there, it shows you the weight as it as it does it. So you you would know exactly if you were looking and paying attention, you would know exactly what you have. Then they started thinking they may have been scammed, so they reported it to United on the United website. It says United has not responded. I bet not. Uh, They shared the story online, and now people are not obviously saying not cool. Yeah, that you shouldn't have to tip the ticketing agent in the airport. And then if this ever happens, you should immediately ask for a supervisor. If the bag was over 50, I would have no problem tipping. And he's like, I'm going to look the other way. That's the way the world works, unfortunately. I I would totally tip five bucks if he's like, hey, don't worry about it. Just put a tip right there. I'm like, no problem. I agree. My man. But if he's lying about it and it's off by seven pounds, then I'm livid. Yeah, it's if he's lying about it, yeah, and I'm that much off. But it, I'm, I'm, I'm with you because to you, it's like a $25 charge or $35 charge. If the bag is over, yeah, yeah five bucks, just kind of scoop my bag on through. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to the real world. I mean, that's just, you know, do it. Yeah. But ever, if he lied about it. <laughs> you ever been standing there with somebody whose bag was over and you had to kind of reassess things, take stuff out, throw yeah, stuff yeah. away. Put, yeah. I mean, give me that. I'll put it in my bag. Mm-hmm. It's a horror show. Yeah. It's humiliating and embarrassing. And I've done it several times and I can't stand it. Yeah. It's annoying. I hate it. It's super annoying. Yeah. Um, there is a unique take from a girl on the squatter crisis in America. And, um, it may sound boring, but it's not next. More Ace and friends coming up. Coming up. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. This is Ace and Friends. Uh, squatting, squatters, I don't know what the proper term would be, is has, that has become a problem. And you may have heard these crazy stories of squatters' rights where people move into a, a houses that are for sale or people are gone they come home and people live in their house and and then you have lost the right to your own 
property that you own because of the way the weird laws work. Um, so what is it? This guy just goes out. He's interviewing college students. Yeah, yeah. About squatters and squatting. This takes a weird, weird turn. Do, do you own property? I um, own a car. Yeah. Okay. So if if somebody stole my car, how would I feel about it? Yeah. Would you apply that to the the same standard to your vehicle? If they needed my vehicle and they were down bad and it happened, I would just move on with my life. Because I don't. So you would. Private property should exist. Then why not just go and give your car to someone who's down bad? Because I need it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah. So, 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 so then that bring, begs the question: If you own property and you need your property, and someone takes it over, should they have the right to do that? Um, I don't think that I care. There you go. I don't think that I care. <laughs> so you got a car. Somebody steals your car, but they steal it because they need it. Yeah. Okay. Let them have it. Yeah, because. She doesn't want private property to exist. Yeah, I don't believe private property should exist. That's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. You're a moron. And the way she tries to, well, I, I, don't, I don't care then. Well, that's not a legit answer. <laughs> yeah. And, and the way she says it, I don't think that I care. Yeah. Like, you're stupid for asking the question. Like, so you're ridiculous. dumb for even thinking that people should be allowed to have private property. Like, you're the one who has the problem, not me. It's on you. You and your demand for property rights and stuff. Yeah. I'd be like, well, no, give me your car. Yeah. She's like, well, I need it. I'm like, well, I need it gonna, more. Yeah. I need it more. Where so are you going to live? Car. You move. Maybe you move into a house, and then I decide I need your house more than you do. I mean, I, maybe I've got a wife and two kids, and we've lost our. So you just need to get out. I'm going to need you to bail, but keep paying for it because I need. To, I want to move in here and take care of it. Yeah, it's remarkable that more of these squatters haven't been just shot and killed by the people that own the home. I can't believe it. It's you know you never see that in the news. I'm surprised it doesn't happen every day now. Yeah, there was a lady from New York that was on the news the other day that uh, she was escorted off her property that she owns by the cops and threatened with arrest. You can tell the cop was trying to be cool about it. Like, hey, look, I, you know, this could result in arrest. Like, I'm, tr I'm begging you to not push it because I won't have a choice to have to arrest you. This, you know? It's just so crazy. It's so <clears throat> stupid. It's, uh, yeah. And then you meet people like that and you're like, oh, no. Right. You're in higher education. Yeah. You're supposed to be like, you know. Michael J. Fox has come out with a quote that a lot of people are upset about. Maybe he's just being a grumpy old man. Maybe not. Maybe he's on to something. Next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. All right. Look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard, barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Ace and Friends. So... Michael J. Fox. What does he live with? Is it? He's got uh, oh, Parkinson's. Parkinson's. No. Yeah. Um, Michael J. Fox, in a recent interview in People magazine, thinks it was more difficult to become famous back in the '80s than it is today. "Quote: We were tougher. We didn't have social media. We didn't have any of that crap. We were just famous, left to our own resources, and it was an amazing time. You had to be talented. That helped." We used to bust our ass, uh, our acting muscles and watch other actors and sit around and talk about acting. And now you've just got people who just go like, what's your sweater you're wearing? And what's that dance step, end quote. Can he be right and be a grumpy old man at the same time? I think so. Because he's got to be, what? He's, he's 60s. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe around 60. 
Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm not tooting my own horn, but we were talented. Well, yeah, I, I don't know that's the example you want to use, though, when he's like, we were tough. We got to, you know, we sat around and talked about acting. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. well, you, come on. You weren't digging ditches and you weren't but, fighting in the war. Yeah, but I, mean, I guess what he's we're saying tough. is like, you had to be a little more, uh, they had to get out there and hustle. They had, to, mm. they had to work at the craft. You had to be declined a lot and told you're not good enough and all that kind of stuff. And I still think a lot of people these days do have to grind. But yes. not, maybe not as hard as he did, but I mean, still, it's not it's not easy to be famous like that on TikTok or whatever. You know, all these people are just ready to tear down whatever's new and popular. Yeah, but I, I did. I, I get it though. When you're an actor or a musician or something who's worked at a craft and worked to learn, take musicians, writing songs, perfecting your voice. And then you see somebody who just sits in their car and drive throughs and eats obscene amounts of food and they make a million dollars a year, millions doing that. It's like, mm, okay, we, we had really had to have talent. They don't have any talent. It's, it's the same argument. You call them the Kardashians talentless. Well, their, their talent is people want to look at them. They figured out and a way to what? make it work no for them. I no get it. No one wants to look at you. Hey, it's, and it's just that it's just things happen. Lives change, you know, technology comes along. You have different things for different, you know, groups. There was a time that they didn't have television, you know, and so those those people had a different skill set. And then yeah. television came along and they had talk show hosts who weren't actors or actresses and people didn't think they were talented. Yeah. But now you know that they were, that kind of thing. Things just change. But there are a lot of, you know, I think musically, what was I watching the other? Oh, I got onto something with the Eagles. And it was like the Eagles from 1976, live, untouched, no backup singers, no, amazing. Yeah, they sound just like the albums. So just like the albums, which is incredibly hard to do. They're so unbelievably talented as a group. They are more talented than anybody that's out today. Most people that are out today. Didn't Lionel Richie have say something similar about the We Are the World thing recently too? Oh yeah, that they couldn't do it today yeah. because everybody sounds the same and they're not as talented. Yeah, I don't think Michael J. Fox is wrong, but it just does it, it definitely doesn't mean that he's not just being a yeah, old dude. he's not wrong, but it is, it's hard to compare when there are so many different avenues now to become famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'd rather watch a mukbang video of somebody eating in their car than watch Back to the Future again. Well, hold on a minute now. I yeah, I would, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. Ace and Friends. I, uh, I don't know if I want to talk about this or not. Maybe I do it tomorrow. I don't know. It's weird. I have a question. Um, so mentioned earlier about the picture that I uh, I posted. I'm very cautious about what I post because I am. Uh, very attracted to my wife physically. I think she's stunning, but I don't. I try not to post a lot of pictures of her. Hey, look how hot my wife is! Right. Yeah. And as you approach the summer, that's always weird because if you're out around a pool or something, she's usually in a bikini. Right. Well, how do you do that where where people don't think you're being a creeper? You don't. You don't. Okay. Don't do Posting a lot of pictures, it. bikini pictures, it might come across a little creepy. And not a lot. Just. Like kind of? She posted a picture of herself in a bikini recently and got huge reaction. I mean, there were all women that were like, oh, you look amazing, blah, 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 blah. And I thought at the time, man, if I posted that, it would, people would be like, what are you? Yeah, it's different. Creeper old dude. Mm-hmm. Even though you were posting it because you're like, look, I'm so proud of her. Look how hot she is. You just worked hard. But you can't. But I can't do that. I think also that two things work against me. One, um, the age gap thing makes it a little bit weird for some people. If I were to just post like, hey, my wife's uh, you know, a year from having a baby, she looks incredible. I would just be posting, I was proud of her. That makes it weird. Two, it's because it's me and people know that I'm, you know. Kind of a pervert. Yeah. I didn't want to say it. I was trying not to have to say it. He's kind of a pervert. No. Yeah, I I see what you're saying. You know, so that that works, you know, against me. So uh, I know a lot of times, uh, there were a lot of times that I could be like, I would post this picture in a heartbeat, be like, mm. Maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. 
you know, I don't want people to think I'm weird. And she's cautious about that too. Like, mm, maybe you shouldn't be posting it. I would trust her sense. I would trust her sensibility yeah. about it. She know who she's married to. Is the thing. Yeah. You know, we've only have a couple times. Like I think one time we were in Vegas at the pool. I think maybe once on the, on the lake, but you know, we never post the ones that I take. We always post the ones that she takes or that people take of us. Okay, I don't even know what you're talking about now. You're just saying like <laughs> kind of Ooh. you're speaking. I don't know what you're even saying. You're, you're trying saying, to say something. You're saying, saying trust her. Just yeah, leave, leave it to her. Okay. She kind of has a good eye, eyeball for that kind of thing. Yeah. And I am who I am. And, and you are who you are. Which is probably the biggest reason I shouldn't be posting anything. Like yeah. That. Maybe. <laughs> Ace and friends.